no more dirt. Yeah, let, let's go talk. Let's go talk. Let's go talk to Filippo. Whatever. Good work, ship dog. Your hot hard work hasn't gone unnoticed. Oh, the wind has changed! Captain, a storm is coming! And I wish this was in HDTV, but you guys... But... Mm, it don't matter. It don't matter, this isn't a Xbox game or yada yada. <laughs> it's a Wii game. You are now bad. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Kevin, a storm is coming! Oh boy, I hope you guys can see the. <laughs> oh boy. Get to Dog Island on, in the storm. My ship won't hold. And I'm sorry for that thing right over there. <laughs> the, the um thing from the light. <laughs> Susie. I'm sorry. I have to break my promise like this. I gotta cancel the trip to the Dog Island. What? I'm awful sorry, Susie. I know you want to get there as soon as you can, but I gotta worry about my crew. I promise you, I will get you to the Dog Island, but not on this trip. We'll take you there on the next trip. No! I gotta save my sister! I am- I'm out of here! Hey! Hey! Stop! Someone! Stop Susie! Someone say- I don't know what to say! I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Sorry. Amalia, and you are? I'm Susie. Oh, did you swim all the way here for that storm? Then you're one lucky dog. Lucky dog, why? The sea bed in these parts have, has a lot of sharp rocks. Sharper than the teeth of a shark, they are. If you happen to hit one of those rocks, well, you wouldn't even be waking up right now. You should thank that little Mr. Birdie too. Mr. Birdie told me that he fainted. You were lucky that Mr. Birdie came to tell me, you know. Thanks, Mr. Birdie. You're welcome! I don't even know, and I don't know if you guys can see that bird. I don't know if you can even see... I... <laughs> But tell me, what's so important that would make you try to reach this island in such a storm? I am not going to say anything right now. I'm just going to put you explain the situation because... Um, no. Oh dear, you've come all the way to see Dr. Potent. 
He is the, has a clinic in the village square. You can get there by crossing the stream to the west of his house. He has a sign out in front, so you can't miss it. I'll be there waiting for you, okay? Dun. Dr. Pong's house is just across the bridge. Follow me. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I wanted to hum. Uh. Okay, but okay, this is why I wanted more wolves from the fish. This is why. And if you didn't watch the last part, yeah, I actually caught a bunch of fish so I can actually get more wolves. Because I wanted clothes. Derp. <laughs> Star clothes, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Wasn't it? You might have can't see it, but blue ribbon. But then again, maybe you can, so I'm mm, sorry for saying that. But bleh. Um. I smell something. I'm not sure if I really need it though. Maybe I should just not bother with it. Ah, I, 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 I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 I don't know why the dog name is Hope, but I'm not gonna. And go away, man. I don't want you because I know where to go. Ah. Oh, hello there, Miss Amalia. Whatever can I do for you today? And who is this fine young pup you have with you today? This is Susie. Susie desperately needs your help, Doctor. I see, and whatever might be the matter, hmm? You blamed everything, I'm not like as scroll. Me? A famous doctor? Oh, please, I just love to help others. I have, however, treated a similar sickness in the past. Although I doubt this is, the, is exactly the same. I fear this may be too much for me. Doctor, please, help Susie! Very well, I shall do what I can. Thanks! Great, isn't it, Susie? I'm sorry, but to find a cure, I'll need to do some research to find out what kind of medicine to use. I'll need a few days. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You'll be here for a while, right? Then you'll need a place to stay. I got an idea. Noble has an empty house he isn't using. Let's go talk to him. Actually, I can just do this and music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do... <laughs> Did I do that in Pets of Dogs 2 as well? I Nah, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Amalia, who is this pup of you? Susie. 
Susie, this is Noel, the village share dog. Oh, please, my position is of no importance. You are not from these parts, are you, young one? No, she comes from Peru Town or whatever. Peru, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just looking at it now and thinking, um. <laughs> oh, the big city. I have I detected a fragile and of mastered elegance in, in the. In the what? Emanating from you. Something absent from so many around here. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. I fear I've confused you. Please ignore my big words. What brings you to our cozy island, then? She came here and asked for Dr. Potent's help to cure her sick sister. Of course. Dr. Potent, a fun doctor, isn't he? I presume he agreed to help. He did, but he needs a few days to get ready. And so Susie has to stay here for a while, but she doesn't have a place to stay. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but you have an empty house, don't you, Noble? Would you lend it to Susie? Um, I could do that, I could do that. But I should ask you something first. What is it? Do you believe in ghosts? Ghost? This empty house of mine, well... It just so happens to be the site of some rather strange occurrences. Dogs have heard voices from thin air. Or sounds of something moving in an empty room. Of course, I don't believe any of it. But some dogs in the village think the place is haunted. Indeed, some even go so far to suggest that my family is cursed. What nerve! I cannot afford to allow such rumors to carry on. Ugh. They could damage the good name of my family for generations to come. If you find out the real reason for this haunting and solve the matter, then the house is yours for as long as you need it. The house I speak of is to the west of this house. There's a mailbox in front. You can't miss it. I'll be there waiting for you, okay? Do 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 no why am I doing that? I need to stop that. Tis this desk. Okay, Susie, it's not that I think there's a ghost in here or anything, but I've just remembered something that I really need to do, okay? Um, okay? You've learned a strange new spell. I'm sorry. I, I, I like the song, it's so... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, you, you, you don't want me sitting messing around, let's go. You guys might have don't want me to see me messing around, so let's go. Hello? Hey there. Who are you? Hello there. What? Who are you? 
Don't tell me you can see me. I can see you. What? You can? That voice, though, sorry. <laughs> what? You can? You really can see me? Yes, I can. And who are you? Me. I'm Patacy. Patacy, Patacy, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I'm just like Patacy, Patacy, I don't know. What's yours? I'm Susie. And it literally says I'm Susie on her. <laughs> Sorry. I'm actually making a mute character to actually talk here. Derp. <laughs> Susie, huh? You're one of those sniff masters I've heard of, I heard about, right? Sniff masters? You're not. No, not. You're not? That's weird. I'm sorry, I forget this game so bad. I'm just like. Um. <laughs> says it. Right when he says it. Ah. Whatever. Well, you just stepped out a hidden egg. That's not a trick that any old dog can pull off. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you know, Inks? Uh, no. Oh. How can you not know about Inks? What are you? Oh boy, this is a sad day, a sad day indeed. Listen up, Ben Sniffy. You suffer just me that there's no such thing, okay? But we ain't have been around for as long as you care to remember. At least as long as you dogs have been around, okay? It's just that you dogs have forgotten about us. Dogs don't accept our existence anymore. Uh, it's a little too complex for you, maybe. Okay, just remember this. Ghosts and eggs are two totally different things. Why are you uh, here anyway? Are you serious? You're really going for some tough times. Okay then, I'll help you out. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Yeah, okay. So, what next? How about telling Noah what, about what you find out? found out? You have have to tell him, right? Tell him you've solved this haunted house problem. Yeah, okay. Let's go. I don't know what to say. Ha! <laughs> uh, no. Not funny. Not completely fine. I wish to put... I'm not gonna... Spoil. Don't spoil it. Uh, don't go that way or else you'll go nearby there and he'll be like, Hey, don't go in there or whatever, he says. You have solved the problem? I don't believe in ghosts, of course, but it wasn't a ghost, was it? It wasn't a ghost. Of course it wasn't. I knew it. I knew it. Now the princess can visit us safely. Princess? Oh, never mind. Anyway, you may use the house as I promised. And you can use the furniture there too. Yeah, I know how this and you guys can't read it anyway because... Non-HD TV. It's not exactly dark in here. It's Daylight. I still can't get over the fact that he thought was a ghost. This is just crazy. Hey, Susie, let's get out of here. Out of? I, it's out, uh, whatever. I, I said out of instead of out of, whatever. I'm in the mood to talk. Oh, hello. I hope some of friends we fall to again works off of you. Uh, okay. Hey! All he says is hey. All he says is hey. Yep, yeah, uh, line, one line. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go.
I've just remembered something I need to do. Help me find a bare patch of ground around here. Will ya? Well, it's gotta be a pretty big open area. I remember the center of this village had a place like that. And now I'm going over here. Mail time! Oh, hello. I'm Mr. Postman. I deliver precious memories. Hold on. You big with met before? And for Peru, Road Town, I don't even know what I'm actually saying. I've been calling it Peru Town for a while now. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, you're thinking of my twin bar. He does look exactly like me. Convenient coincidence? I think not. Sorry. So tell me, do you know about deliveries? Deliveries allow you to pack, send packages, or receive letters. If a letter has come for you, well, I just skip that. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> Select mail and then choose to send or receive. You guys may as well watch another walk through to see what he said because I. <laughs> and now I'm sporting under walk through this. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I uh, it's just that you guys won't know what he said, and I. Yeah, sorry about that. Seriously, sorry about that. Any old post can perform a save for you. Only we postmen can handle deliveries. Just let us know. Oh, oh, if you want to make a delivery. Yeah. Okay. Um. Mail. Receives instead of the. Oh, has ever been for mom? I'm saving even though I'm not ending the video here. I don't want to end the video here anyway. <laughs> oh my, I just don't. Dear Susie, how is everything? We are uh, all doing fine here. Are you eating well? Don't forget to eat vegetables, okay? I will write you again. You should write us back sometime. Please be careful. Bye. Okay, well, actually, since this game is an adventure game, we don't eat any. Okay, I'm just pointing out the obvious. Which is stupid. Wait a sec. Uh, what is it? He, okay, here. Looks good. So don't just stand there. Lend me a hand, will ya? Or paw? No. No. Okay. This will become an ink tree. It's very rare. I brought it all the way from main clan myself. I was asked to plant it in this world by the queen herself. Luckily, I remembered. <laughs> uh, I didn't make the talk or whatever. I didn't want to. Anyway, that should do it. Oh yeah, I can see it growing already. I guess it will be a sprout for a while, though. My queen told me this tree is no ordinary tree. Each time someone says thank you to its owner, it takes that appreciation and uses it as energy to grow. And then, when this guy it grows tall, I can go back to the land of inks. Okay, my work here is done. How about we go check on Potin and see if he is ready yet? If he is slacking off, we should give him a little shove. Do, 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 
Just a moment, I kinda wanna break from holding the camera. Be right back. Back to the walkthrough. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, here's something. I'm not recording on the same day that I recorded the other part of this part. <laughs> on Roblox for like the rest of the day <laughs> that day well that was basically yesterday but whatever and I see that there's mail we see hello <laughs> thank you who sent me some mail <laughs> Sent me some mail and I'm not sure. Is this TV loud? <laughs> Can you guys still hear me? Mm. Eh, never mind. Dear Susie, how are you doing? Without you here, there's nobody to chat with. I miss our little talks. Mom misses you Ooh, too. I saw her crying yesterday. Come home soon, okay? Bye for now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, where was I supposed to go again? Uh, I kind of forgot where I was supposed to. <laughs> what is it in here? Uh, I I'm gonna find out right now. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm supposed to go in here. Oh, Susie, I was just getting ready, but I still need a few herbs. I'm going to need them to help your sister. You, n But you need to s learn how to sniff if you want to find them. That's the only way to find them, but it's a special skill. I'm embarrassed to say that I... Though I'm a am a dog, I don't know oh how to really sniff. Looks like you have some experience with sniffing, but you sniff somewhat different from the other sniffers. You never had proper training, did you? You need to find a good master to teach you and learn the basics of sniffing. To do that, you need to go out of this village and work on your sniffing. While you are at it, I will get it ready and prepare for what I need for this trip. Anyhow, you should get started by finding a master to train you in the basics of sniffing. Stalker, I'm sorry. <laughs> Had to say it. <laughs> I, I just had to say stalker. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry for saying that. Okay. Mm, back to this. Hi there, young one. I sense something from you. You wish to learn the art of sniffing, yes? Yeah? Surprised you, have I? I know, I know. Okay, not again. I fail at making the character not mute. <laughs> Whatever. I can read you like a book. Oh, I know that look on your face. You do not believe me, yes? 
Well, do not have be surprised yet because I have more surprises for you. Hold on. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. I'm just gonna say sniff, 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 sniff. Mm -hmm. Your name is Susie. And, mm, sniff, sniff, sniff. You met Potan just a while ago? Yeah, I did in the house. Sniff, sniff, sniff. You've been told by Potan to find something he needs, but to find it you must learn the art of sniffing. Yes? Yes, I do. How do you know that? I assume you are impressed with the power of saying yes. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. what am I doing? I need to. Maybe I should stop making her not mute. Seriously, should I just stop making her not mute? Because I, I really won't know what to say. <laughs> because I kinda don't remember this game completely. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, back to this. It seems you can sniff a little bit, however, you never had proper training, am I correct? You are correct! I must tell you this. You need someone to train you. And you are lucky that I am here for you. My name is Yilu. They call me the Great Sniffer around here. And I will train you. But before I begin, I'm going to teach you how to survive on this island. You must listen very carefully because it'll be a group crucial for your endeavors. There are many islands besides us on the side. The what? Did I just say islands instead of animals? Uh. Oops. <laughs> uh, try that again. There are many animals besides us on this island. And of course, some are dangerous. This bear, for an example, looks dangerous, yes? When you see dangerous creatures, stay away from them. And this is important. When you are attacked by, by those dangerous creatures. Ah! Your life at the top right of the screen will decrease. And when your life is empty, the game is over. That... The way I said... Over though. And when the game is over, all of your items will be lost, so be careful. So you must be careful with your life. That is enough for today. By the way, I have not explained the levels. No? You wish to know about the levels? Yeah. As you wish, your level increases when you, you learn a lot of smells, and you won't, won't have to worry about small injuries so much when you get to higher levels. But only us teachers of sniffing can raise your level. Now, on this island, there are dogs like Road and Tail besides me, but is it Road? I don't even know. Uh, some of these names I don't know how to pronounce. So excuse me if I pronounce them wrong. Mm. I'm serious. <laughs> oh boy. They are not the type to teach beginners. You cannot just go knocking on their doors. But do not worry, I will train you here. Sniff as many smells as you can, then come to me. You wish to hear it all over again? No. Okay then, that will be all for now. 
Okay, your first task is to find the ring fragment one, which I have hidden in the stage. It smells like this. When you find the ring fragment one, bring it to me, yes? Then I'll teach you something else. Now, you shall go. Yeah, let's go. Do 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 do. And do 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 do. Actually, I'm gonna smell some other smells here because I think that's what I may as well do. Grapefruit. Cabbage. You guys might have can't read it, so I'm just and can't see it, so I'm just reading it. <laughs> like literally. I know it's not necessary, but I may as well do it. Nope, I, I don't need an R grapefruit. Smelly, smelly, smell. Tulip. Peony flower, whatever it's actually called, I don't know. Something, I smell something. Do -do 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 -do. Grapes. Okay, you know what? Sniffing. Literally enough of cinnamon. Um, yes, this is it. Mm, uh, um, I am going to teach you how to face dangerous creatures. Notice the icon that appears above the creature's head? It shows that condition. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. It shows what condition they are in. A great sniffer like me can read their minds. So I'm going to teach you how to make out their thoughts from those icons. This icon obviously shows that it is sleeping. This icon tells you it is awake, but it does not see you. Now, you are safe from those creatures when the icons display this. They will not attack you if you keep quiet and stay away. This icon tells you that it sees you. When it is at this state, it might attack you if you approach near it. So, oh, you should try to stay away from it. You guys might don't see the icons. I am sorry for that. Stinking not HD. Ow. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. Now, that what? Oopsie. Next is how to bark. It is simple. Try barking at creatures that are sleeping or sneak up on a creature that does not see you and bark at it from behind. So when they have this icon, sneak up from behind and press 
this, this, this button, this, the minus button, okay, <laughs> I want to say it, minus button, if you are successful, they will fade, if you hold down minus button longer, your bark will be louder. And the creature will stay fainted longer. Why don't you give it a try? Just hold down the hold the the blah, 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 blah. just hold the minus button down. I'm just gonna show you the other one. Okay. That's not long enough, try again. I just wanted to. If you hold down the minus button longer, your bark will be louder, and the creature will stay fainted longer. But you will need to be close to the creature to do this. So approach as close as you can without being spotted. If you use bark properly, it, no one can stand against you. Enough said then. I guess this is, a, is good for today. But I must give you a test on this to see if you have learned. Bring me ring fragment four from a snake that is on the east side. Use bark on the snake. It will drop the ring fragment four. And this is its smell. Now, go get it. Do -do 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 Fragment 4, you've got ring fragment 4. Sorry, I wanted to do that. Sorry. Oh, yes, yes. This is it. Well done. For a moment there, I thought I lost it for good. Thanks to that snake. What is going on? Well, I don't even know what the... I don't know what to play, you know what, never mind. Mmm, uh, um, oh, it is nothing. Well done, I'll give you this in return. Medicinal herb. You can use it by selecting it from the item menu. The item menu can be found in the menu by a pressing the plus button. This sir will restore your life. You can also buy one from the store. And you should always carry some. This is all I can teach you for now. With this information, you can find the medicinal herb Dr. Bowden is looking for. And do not forget to keep training your sniffing. I will teach you other things when you are ready. And one more thing. You should come back to me when you learn a lot of smells. When you are ready, I will raise your level. Well then, take care. Yeah, I'm gonna check real quick. Okay, uh, I'm leveling up. I'm leveling up now. Mmm, I can sense you've learned some new smells. I shall raise your level. You have gained level. Okay. <laughs> okay, awkward. For the next level, you must learn 30 more smells. I smell a dog that needs help. Yes, a dog in trouble from the direction of Odin's clan. You should go and check. Yeah, maybe I should end the episode right after this. Do do do. I 
dragons do you who are getting better with your sniffing. I think you can find the herbs I need now. You know the herbs that I need to help you cure your sister. What I need is a yellow flower. It grows in the green meadows. It's easy to find because of its yellow petals. It smells like this. I'll be waiting for you. I'll continue getting my things ready for this trip. Obviously, you guys might have can't read that, but I don't need to read it. I'm gonna just do this now. Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna end off the episode once I'm done getting this flower. Do, 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 do. It's nearby a snake. <laughs> Sorry, I I I had to. There we go. Yellow flower. You got a yellow flower. Okay. <laughs> Actually, yeah. twenty more. Nine more cents. Twenty nine more cents. Okay. 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 Okay, I'll, 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 I'll shut it now. <laughs> yes, this is it. Thank you. But I need two other herbs. One of them is called the blue, a blue flower. I asked friends what said. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Francis to go get it. Um, no offense, but here's something. Isn't Francis a boy name? I'm sorry. I I I, I just had to say it. I yeah, yeah. Okay. To go get, it. but she should be back by now. Could you check on how she's doing? I heard she was having some trouble with the Victory Games pranks. Their pranks are getting worse these days. I just hope they don't hurt Francis. those dogs and this one she's fainted uh, 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 uh. hey she's coming too oh my I'm so sorry I don't know what to say so hi you are Susie yes I'm Susie yes you are Susie I'm Francis. I work as a nurse at po Dr. Potent's clinic. I heard about you from Dr. Potent. You came to Dog Island to save your sister all by yourself, right? Sorry, You're so brave. I just wish I had uh, half as much confidence. Do you have time to listen to my story? Well, let me tell you anyway. 
Those dogs who were here just now are the victor gain. It's a gain that loves to cause trouble for other dogs. And my battery is running low. <laughs> and I mean the battery on the, well, we remote. <laughs> Well, the problem is, it's really about me. I'm a nurse, you see. But I'm actually terribly afraid of the sight of blood. Go on, laugh if you want. A nurse is scared of blood. I know, I know. I was okay to start with. I only felt a little sick. But now, just seeing the color red... And is he, is he, oh, what? But now just seeing the color red is enough to make me sick. Feel sick. When it gets really bad, I even faint. The victory game found out all, about all this. And now they love the pig on me. And I need to get, look for the blue farmer Dr. Potent, but that, those victory gain dogs keep throwing tomatoes at me. It scares me so much that I can't deal with my work. I don't know. I'm just... So much that I can't deal with my work. I wish I could just teach you the smell, but I'm not even confident enough to teach you anything right now. But the victory gain aren't to blame. Not really. I am. It's my weakness. I know I should be able to control it, but just seeing anything red is enough to make me feel sick. But I've heard about something called the brave fruit. The brave fruit is a plant that grows in the green meadows. They say that eating it makes you brave. If I had one, I'd be able to teach you what the blue flower smells like. Please, find the brave fruit for me. I think this is what the brave fruit smells like. Yeah, learning scent of the brave fruit. Okay. Um, that's enough for this episode, um...